Lead is a major concern that this holiday season as parents shop for toys to buy their children. Now, this morning, a list of toxic toys being released just in time before you start that holiday shopping. But how can you detect lead in your child's toys? Kimberly Button of GreenwellConsultant.com joins us to tell us how. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Okay, let's start off with this. A couple of years ago, there was a big outcry against lead toys. Everyone was very worried about it, conscious checking out what they're buying. But time, you forget still important to think about. Exactly. There's been a lot of regulations that have limited um, the amount of lead or, or recalls due to lead in toys, so it has gotten a lot better, but there are still things that you want to look out for. Um, let's first of all start by saying lead, why you want to be so concerned about it, it causes neurological damage. Um, it alters brain development, which could mean lower IQ levels, learning disabilities, um, trigger a violent re uh, behavior. These are going to be lifelong problems. So you don't want your children, you know, to be exposed to this. Right? Yeah, we know our little ones, if it's meant to be in your mouth or not, they're going to stick it in exactly. there. And that's instantly where it goes. Exactly. So if you're starting to look at toys that you're going to buy, is there one good place to go and start checking out a list of what maybe might not be the best idea? Um, well, there are a couple websites that you can go to. Uh, the first one, run by the government, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, it's recalls.gov. That's where you want to go to see if toys have been recalled due to lead. That's if lead is going to be at a 300 parts per million or higher level in that toy. That's an extremely high level. So if you want to check for toys that have a little, you know, make sure they don't have lead that's mm -hmm. considered safe, but it's still in there, go to a website called healthystuff.org. And this... Um, nonprofit agency has been testing toys. Mm -hmm. You can go on there, search for a toy by their name brand, by the type of toy. Um, there's even a mobile phone application that you can use while you're out That's shopping great. and search for something. Let's talk about what you have here on the table. Are these either uh, good or bad ideas if you're out shopping? Well, this is actually a good one, the little Titex Pop Tunes. Um, this is something that I, re I research on HealthyStuff.org. It has no lead. It has no other heavy metal toxins in it, so it's completely safe. It is made of plastic, so you might think, you know, it might have some hazards, but it absolutely doesn't. So uh, you can go out and get that. Um, lead usually is found in things like paint and plastic, so those are something that you want to be with. If you have a little one, say, um, you know, everything is still going in the mouth, yeah. you probably want to stick to things that are more cloth-based or more wood-based, just to be completely sure. Uh, stuffed animals, uh, dolls made out of cloth, you know, those are good things. All wood toys are also good as long as the paint is non-toxic. If it says non-toxic, if it says lead-free, um, even food-based, some things are food-based, those are going to be better options. Great idea as, as you're heading out shopping. What if you have toys right now, which I know I do this every time Christmas rolls around, I think I can't have more toys because I have so many around. Can you start going through what you have, too, and check those out on those websites you mentioned to see if they're ones you still want to get rid of? Oh, absolutely. They have a database, you know, of for years back to see what has been tested, um, you know, what has been proven safe and what you might not want to have in your kid's room. Some great ideas as we head out and do all of that Christmas shopping right now. Kimberly Button, thank you so much for joining us. If you want to check out more of her information, it is greenwellconsultant.com.